the definition of alternative education is just different. We're different than other schools. We're different than any other schools in the area. We have this, this section of the population that, that doesn't fit into a traditional setting and we make them successful. A lot of times students lose hope in the traditional school setting and when they come here they realize that they can succeed. But halfway through my 10th grade year I was at Central and I started falling behind credit wise because I just couldn't really grasp what the teachers were teaching. So then I got switched over and put into Eastern because I was told they were a lot more one-on-one -on -one with the students and they would try to change how they taught so that you personally would understand it because not everyone learns the same. What an opportunity Eastern is for students who need a little bit of a different learning structure or to you know have fallen behind due to circumstances beyond their control. This was like pretty much my only opportunity to be able to actually like graduate and, and our focus here is really just on their future and us having the ability to, to figure out what these kids want to do and then personalize the help that they need to get to where they want to go. Eastern worked better for me because it's smaller and there's a better teacher to student ratio. So anytime I need help, I don't really have to wait for it. There's always somebody there to help me. I think being a smaller school, they are able to have us year after year and building that connection, we can help them with whatever struggles or whatever their successes are. They looked at my credits because I failed my freshman year and they were like, you know, you should go to Eastern instead so you can catch up. And if you catch up and you want to come over here, feel free to do so. So my choice wasn't to come here, it was to stay here. Um, we hear that all the time that they want a Central Diploma, they want a Western Diploma, but then once they get here, they, they stay and they graduate from us. At Eastern, we have an E2020 program where we can work on our classes at our own pace, which is really helpful for me because I'm a slower learner when it comes to like math and science. And so they give us videos on the computer and then there's always, of course, a teacher to help us. They can work at their own pace. So it's good for some students that need to go back and redo lessons or I have some students that get motivated, they want to graduate, and we've had a few students be able to graduate early because of it. I'd like to think that I succeeded more than I could have at Central here, just because of the opportunities that they gave me. We wanted our kids to be good members of the community and be, be involved and engaged in our community. Every Wednesday, we do a veterans group that we work with. We go over to the Bay Veterans Foundation and we have kids work in the workshop with them there. They teach them how to use hammers, how to use drills and stuff like that. Stuff that you would need growing up as an adult to do stuff in your house. At my old school, I was credit deficient, so I couldn't go to Career Center. And then here, I was able to get all of it together last year and come to Career Center this year and be able to pursue what I want early in high school because I want to become a teacher. At a lot of the schools, if you become credit deficient, they're not going to be able to pull you out of the building to go to Career Center because you need to be in the building making up those credits. But because of the way that we've, we've structured our grad plans, we're able to allow kids to, to, to have different opportunities and to be able to do those different things. I didn't even want to go to college before Eastern, and here they taught me you know, how to get into college, how to get scholarships. And so when they told me about phlebotomy, I was just ecstatic. I got to work with, like, at hospitals and work with taking blood. So that's what I really want to go into. And I'll be going into Delta for that. Especially when you're looking at what some of these kids are doing after they graduate. We have military, early childhood education, veterinarians. They're really succeeding outside once they graduate. I would say all alternative schools have a stereotype. You know, there's a negative connotation with it. And that is so far from the truth. We just have students that have academically struggled. They're willing to pull out all the stops to help you graduate no matter what. We don't accept expelled students. We don't have those big you know, those, those troublemakers, I've got a very calm, easygoing building. I'm coming here because it's nicer and better to work in this environment. I could do the same work from my old school here and succeed. I don't think it's the work that's very different. I think it's the environment and the teachers. I still had to do all the hard work. It wasn't like they were giving me answers or anything. It was just they were helping me learn where to find the answers. Before I came here, I had no idea what I wanted to do after high school or if I would even be able to get through it, but now I actually know what I want to do after try school. I would show them the history and my grades from changing schools. I had not one A at Central. And then I got here and I'd show them my grades and they'd see straight A's and be like, what happened? And be like, Eastern happened. 
and I would hope they'd understand after that. <laughs>